Je pense que ça me détecte avant. A future free of student debt. A future where every single student is given an equal chance. A future where everyone is given the most beautiful gift of all, education. This is the future that side proposition has envisioned, and we believe that by implementing this resolution, all of these dreams will come true. So what I'll be doing for you today as a second speaker in side proposition, I will be first of all taking down all the points that side opposition has brought up, then I will be bringing up this third and last point about meritocracy. So now without further ado, let's take a look at what side opposition has told you so far. So basically their first point was about how like it devalues education, because if it's free, not, every, uh, not everyone's gonna care, and they use this analogy as a car. So now let's first of all start with that. So imagine that you're a poor person given a car, a free car, a free Mercedes, are you actually gonna go trash it and bump it and not care if it's scratched? No, we don't think that's true. And even if you're a rich person where you're given a free car, you're not gonna not care because it's scratched because it's so valuable. We think that this analogy could be used for like a hat, but not something so valuable as education. <laughs> so now I've clearly taken that part down, but let's take a look at the second level of refutation of this idea. So we think that because it's still gonna be a selective process, not everyone's gonna get to go to university, so we don't really think that it's still gonna be devaluing education because there will be still be those who choose like not to go. So now, um, the next idea that they brought up was how we can just have scholarships for the poor who really need it. But they fail to recognize the fact that when you have scholarships, there are limited numbers of scholarships. So not everybody who deserves a scholarship can get one. We don't think that's fair. But however, we see that when we make it free for everybody, then everyone in society has an equal platform. Everyone has the ability to get in. Now, yes, wouldn't you agree? Because there's a limited number of spots in university, isn't it true that we're still discriminating against Okay, thank you. But however, we think that that limit from university now is still higher than the limit of scholarships that we have. So in this sense, we see that we're still improving the system. And now that will actually add into my point about how it actually encourages competition and encourages a better um, school system. So now the next point is about how we can't afford to pay these taxes. But first of all, we'd like to say that in all taxes, we're always reluctant to pay. We're always not, we're never willing to give up our money to help um, like the other society because it's, we're paying. So now basically we think that post-secondary in the long run will be beneficial because we think that the quality but not the quality um, quantity of education will increase. So that's the first level of that analysis. But even if that didn't stand, we think that not everyone would have to pay the same amount of taxes. We think that when you have a poor person with like a lower income than a rich person, we think that obviously the poor single mother, as side opposition mentioned, wouldn't have to pay as much taxes as the richer person. So we don't really think that that stands at all. And plus, the, um, the poorer people would benefit more in the long run because of this free education. So now I've successfully taken out all side opposition's points, let's take a look at the final point about meritocracy. So what is meritocracy? Meritocracy is when somebody is judged on purely their skills and talents and not their financial abilities. So we think that this would actually benefit on two levels. First of all, it would benefit the students, and second of all, it would increase the quality of education in universities. So why would it benefit students? We see that right now in the example that my partner brought up about how there is this vicious cycle that keeps like trapping all of us. Um, or trapping the poor, we see that it's not really fair for um, two people with the same abilities or one like higher, but when someone's richer, we don't think that they should have an advantage just because they're richer. We don't think that idea is um, uh, fair, so that's why we want to break and eradicate this idea that side um, opposition seems to have. So we want everybody to have an equal platform. So now we see that when we are applying to universities right now, they actually ask for your parents' income. They'll have this um, bar where you have to type in your parents' income, and we see that when like an 85 average student versus a 95 average student, the 85 student is richer, so obviously the university would be more inclined to take that richer student despite the lower average because of potential like donation to the school, so it's unfair already. And as well as on the site of Waterloo on their university application page, it clearly states 
that a contribution is expected from the parental income despite the many other factors involved. So we think that this is a really not, it's not objective at all when we don't think that everybody's given a fair opportunity and it's not fair to deprive of something with a potential fabulous future just because they cannot afford it. So now let's look at how it would actually benefit society and the university as well. So what side opposition seems to think is that um, we understand that not everyone's going to go to university, but from the everyone that's going to be considered, we think that that will be much fairer, and that's why scholarships wouldn't work because there's still the limit. So we think that in the past we have really sort of um, gotten ourselves into this idea of buying your way into things and not actually having to work for it. And we think that the best um, place to eradicate that idea is through university. We think that it's morally wrong because many people are technically cheating to get in just because your parents are rich. So now, by implementing this resolution, we would be taking the first step together as a society to have an equal platform for everybody. So now for Reconstruct side um, proposition's whole case, my partner's point about right to education, we think that nobody should be deprived of this um, education just because they're not able to afford it. And secondly, she said that the poor will always stay poor just because their kids can't go as well. Um, so now the third point is about meritocracy and how we should have a society based plainly on skills and not by financial resources. So for all those reasons I brought forward to you today, this is why we so strongly propose the resolution. Thank you. Thank you.